big old fundraiser making a big splash in St. Pete. Yeah, the ALS CEO Soak, inspired by the Ice Bucket Challenge, brings people together to raise money for awareness for ALS. Here to tell us more about this event, Senior Manager of Development with the ALS Association, Samantha Schneider. Good morning. Thanks Hi. for being here. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Let's talk about this event. First of all, we mentioned inspired by the Ice Bucket Challenge, which, by the way, can't believe it's been 10 years this year since that started, right? Absolutely. It's crazy to think. So that was everywhere. Talk about what the CEO Soak is. Yes. Yeah, so the CEO Soak is essentially a twist on the Ice Bucket Challenge. We have executives, community leaders. Uh, we have celebrities that are essentially choosing to do the Ice Bucket Challenge yeah. again. Uh, they're <laughs> raising funds, they're raising awareness, and really just helping us uh, have a fun time where whereas also raising awareness for this very serious disease. Yeah, you talk about CEOs, community leaders, local celebrities, which I think also brings in that fun aspect with this challenge going on. Who can we expect to see get dumped on? Oh, absolutely. That's such a great <laughs> question, right? So we have a great partnership with the Tampa Bay Rays and the Tampa Bay Rowdies. And so we're going to have some of their executive leadership is going to be getting soaked oh, wow. with us. Maybe some mascots will be there as well. Oh, okay. uh, we have um, Tech USA. We have some volunteers and we also have some other executives, Birdquist and other companies that will be joining us. Now, I know that these events like the Ice Bucket Challenge, the mm -hmm. Soak, they seem like they're just fun, right? Yes. But in the 10 years since the Ice Bucket Challenge, this has actually made some real strides in, in raising awareness and allowing research to happen. Oh, absolutely. We've actually been able to double the amount of ALS clinics that support those individuals living with ALS. In the past 10 years, we've had 12 genes. We're actually connected to the disease. We've discovered 12 of those. Uh, we've also had two new treatments that and drug treatments that have been discovered and approved by the FDA uh, since the past 10 years. It's great to hear and, and see the strides that we have made thus far in the last decade. Mm -hmm. How can folks at home get involved today? Yes, yeah, so essentially uh, I challenge everyone to bring that Ice Bucket Challenge back. If you did it 10 years, thank you for doing it and, and find it again in your archives, right? And, and put it on social media uh, and then do it again. Yeah. Uh, we'd love to have you out there today. We're also going to be at Park and Rec in downtown St. Pete where we're doing an Ice Bucket Challenge celebration essentially. Uh, just raise more awareness while we'll raffles and uh, an opportunity to meet new people. So. Right. Yes. Get those buckets back out, right? Absolutely, yeah, yes. Back it's out, a get very, it going again. Absolutely. We have a serious disease that we need to raise awareness for, so All thank right. you. Samantha Shiner, thank you for your time. We appreciate it.